الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله إمام شيخ الإسلام ابن القيم رحمه الله تعالى said in his book أواب الصيب which is a good reminder for us during this holy month of Ramadan to actualize the fast to truly benefit from our fast purify our intention and remember while you're fasting to be patient and seek the reward and provision of Allah Ibn al-Qayyim said rahimahullah ta'ala and the one who truly fasts is he whose organs refrain from sins and his tongue refrains from lying, indecency, and that which deviates from the truth. And his stomach refrains from food and drink, and his private parts from relations. So when he speaks, he does not speak with that which will harm his fasting. And if he acts, he does not act in a way that will corrupt his fasting. So all of his speech is beneficial and upright, as are his actions. So his state is like the fragrance that one smells when he sits with the perfume seller. The one who sits with the one who truly fasts benefits from sitting with him and is safe from speaking about things which deviate from the truth, lying, indecency, and injustice. This is the fasting that is legislated, not merely abstaining from food and drink, so the true fasting is the fasting that the organs refrain from sins and the stomach from food and drink. So just as food and drink cut off and spoil the fast, likewise sins cut off the reward and spoil the fruits of fasting, such that one becomes like he who hasn't fasted. Ahabatifillah, the statement of Ibn al-Qayyim speaks for itself. So go back and listen, and benefit, and reflect, and practice. But a small thing I just want to add in relation to your day-to-day -day fasting, your day-to-day -day benefit, or that w which we can derive and abstract from this beneficial speech of Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala, and may Allah bless him with Jannah Fardos. The first thing, is that to actualize your fasting. That when you're fasting, make sure you sit with good people only. So if you have co-workers that distract you, like to joke a lot and do a lot of other, uh, especially false speech, things that involve bid'ah, things that involve joking about kufr or kufr, things that involve uh, speaking about sinfulness, then if you cannot redirect the conversation, do your best during this holy month of Ramadan to avoid it without insulting the people, but in a way that's going to protect you in your religion and your fasting. The second benefit is, aside from sitting in that good company and avoiding that which distracts you from your fasting or takes away from the reward and blessings also fill your time with that which is beneficial and as Ibn al-Qayyim mentioned uh, that the fasting person uh, and the person you want to be near who's fasting that their speech is always beneficial so do your best to have beneficial speech have an ayah on your tongue have a hadith on your tongue. Have a statement of the Salaf on your tongue. Have some of the statements of the ulama on your tongue. That which will benefit you and remind you and your brothers and sisters of that which is good. And if you don't have any of that, at least have the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on your tongue. Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah. Allahu Akbar. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم